Welcome to another IT tech support video. Today I'm going to show you how to update your WordPress website as well with your plugins. And just to give you guys a heads up, if you're not updating your website consistently, um, it might leave you open to an attack by malware and make your site look really uh, full of spam and can harm anybody that visits the website or downloads anything off your website. So it's super important to make sure that your website is up to date and your plugins as well. If you have any malware protection, make sure you have that activated to protect yourself and your customers. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can tell here on the left hand side, you see WordPress 5.5.1, which is available. Uh, you can easily click there where it says please updates, uh, please update, or you can go on the left hand side where it says updates under home. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to take me to another page. If there's a WordPress update available, it will show up right here. So before I upload, update all these plugins, I'm going to go ahead and update my WordPress website. All right, downloading the new updates preparing to install the latest version and then we're just going to pretty much wait you'll be directed to wordpress screen okay we're just gonna see what's the new update you can definitely read it if you have time but we're just gonna go ahead and return to dashboard updates and then we're going to hit reinstall now Boom. So we currently are on the new update. So let's go ahead and hit home. As you can see, that warning sign did disappear. And now it's time to update the plugins itself. I personally like to update each plugin one by one, just in case if something breaks, you can go ahead and re, uh, uninstall that plugin and reinstall it. So I personally don't like doing it all at once. What I currently do and what we all should do is hit plugins. And yes, it does take a little bit more time, but you are aware if something gets broken and which will happen if you're on an older WordPress or you have some kind of theme or anything like that and you update a plugin, you can break something on your website, but it's definitely better breaking something than getting attacked by malware. So right now, just currently updating everything. updating WooCommerce. WooCommerce is probably one of the plugins that has the most updates, which it's good because they're always having new features and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to update. You could update more than one, but again, I just preferably like to update one at a time, just in case if the website does get broken or I have some kind of 404 error uh, or if, you know any kind of error, we, I know what plugin did it. I personally don't like to enable auto updates because there are some updates that will damage your website so make sure you keep that in mind so right now we have everything uploaded and if you go to the dashboard you'll see that there is no updates available well, actually there's two more updates let's take a look here so these right here are your actual themes so we're no longer uh, we no longer have these themes here, but we do have Divi, which is one of the themes. So we're going to update the theme as well. This 2020 one that you just currently saw before I clicked update, that's going to be inside your uh, appearance. Where is it at? Yeah, so I'm going to show you once this is done updating. Okay, so the, the completed the update on the theme. So as you can tell, there is another update. But if you go to appearance and themes, if that theme is not activated, you see how here it says new version available. You technically don't need this. This was a theme that just came with the website. So you don't have to update that. As you can tell here, this theme, which is active, I definitely want to update, update that. And that is how and what you should do to activate, uh, to upgrade all your uh, plugins and WordPress to the newest version. And thank you for watching IT Tech Support. Hopefully, this was helpful, and I'll see you on the next video.